Avocado is a very good source of vitamins and it helps to protect our heart. So I was going through some different data sets and then found in Kaggle there is a very famous data source avocado price prediction. So guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today I am going to do some data analysis using Power BI and avocado price data set. Let's do that. We are now in Kaggle data. I need to download the data set that is avocado price. I will provide the link in our description section. I have already downloaded this data set. Now I'm going to the Power BI. First, get data. So this is a CSV file. Now I'm selecting this. Okay, you can observe here the first column heading is not coming to the picture. Okay, so I need to do some transformation in our Power Query editor. Okay, I'm here. So first I will click use first row as header. Okay, it's already visible. Now let us keep some good name for this column one okay so I'm giving as a serial number date average price total volume and uh, these are some fields are also there which is a total number of avocado sold and all this information so I'll just do some formatting here I'm just keep giving the capital T here year as a Sorry. Okay. Also, region is there. Okay. So now it's done. Now I'm close, apply, and save. Okay, so before doing anything, let us save the file first. Okay, I'm just giving you a name, price analytics and saving the file. In this case study, I will show you uh, how, how many type of reports you can prepare from these data sets, a sample type of reports and also I will use a different chart type uh, from our custom visuals like a lollipop chart, um, infographic view, as well as histogram. Okay. Here is the average price. So instead of sum, I will change it to average. Okay, done. Now for then do some formatting here. Just click on decimal number. Now again do the other changes also. This is a small one. This is a summation only. Only I will change the data format. Serial number. So I don't need the summarization for this. Just remove this. Mainly I will use all those fields. Uh, these are all the fields. Okay. So that's why I'm changing. You can make other changes. Uh, um, all those changes for this uh, field also. Okay, now I'm total volume, sorry, total back, I've done total volume. Extra large bag. And year, that should not be summarized. Okay, so some of the things I have changed. Okay, so before moving to the different uh, visuals first we need to select the get the custom visuals okay i'm going to this get more visuals and search with infographic so i will select this infographic designer okay it's imported next 
lollipop chart you don't need to chart I mention this chart okay I'll select this lollipop bar chart and histogram okay now first I will do a histogram Okay, for histogram, I will select total bag column. Okay, because histogram is uh, like a beam structure, and uh, for the beam, the frequency of a, a major variable. Okay, here you need to drag and drop total bag as well as here is also. Now your histogram chart is ready. You just need to do some formatting here I'll do that formatting data level on I will do that as well as in the x-axis let us do the million okay mm, I don't need to change anything if you want you can do some more formatting also Uh, anything else you have to change? Oh, yeah, for the title section. It looks good if it will be position should be centered. So just a little bit font size 15. I'm giving that. And now I will create one line chart first. I'll select the date hierarchy. Only the month field I will keep here. And type and average price so my line chart is ready after this I will create one donut chart for that I will select average price and type now this is also ready I'll do some formatting here I feel everything is very good. Alignment change. Do some takes. And this legend section. Mm, this is good. Now I'll copy this formatting and paste it here. Now we are going to create the lollipop chart click on this then we'll select region okay now average price and for the tooltip i will select total bag or total volume anything so i'll select total bag take the formatting from the other graph and copy it here okay my lollipop chart is ready now I will move it to the next chart. Now I will create infographic view. For that I will select total volume. Okay. For the values for the measure. And uh, year. And type. Okay. By default the graph will be visible like this. But I will change that make it a little bit bigger click on this edit mark now if you go to this shape section you can provide any kind of shape like nature household food drain people everything but for this i will upload an image click on this This avocado image. Okay, let's 
like this one. Yep, by default it is coming like this. But I need to change something. Click on this multiple units and little bit down, put it to and other things I'm not changing. Okay. Now close it. So now copy the formatting from the other graph and paste it here. So now my view is ready. All our reports are ready. Now we'll provide some page background. Now go to this page background section, upload an image. I have downloaded this image. Okay, so now you can observe the image is not visible properly. However, I have set the transparency to 80. What I need to do? Click on this report, go to format section and hide the background. Now you have to do it for all the reports. You can observe nice avocado is visible but here avocado color is green but in our chart everything is blue I want to change this color what I need to do I will go to view go to custom customize this current thing if you click on that you can change this color one to little bit green side okay Let's apply. Yes, now it's nice green color is coming. So our all the stars are visible and it's looking very nice. And I can change. Uh, we have changed this summary analysis, the page name. We have to give some good name for that. Okay. So now our uh, report is ready. I hope you, hope you like this case study. Please subscribe my channel, comment and share your experience. I will give all the details in the description section. Okay, thank you.